Good morning, beautiful people. It is Saturday, 26th of August, 2017, about a quarter to 10 in the morning. Technically still winter. Have a look at that absolutely glorious day. Solar stuff today. I've got a new, bought myself a new freezer. I'll go inside and talk about that. Talk about why I bought it. And I'll do a little bit of testing with the solar, solar system. See how I can get on for current draw from the two kilowatt array. There it is behind me. There you go. Last week I loaded the system up. It was a overcast day, and because of that low power generation, although still more than what I needed, but I was only able to get a bit over 500 watts from the charge controller into the batteries. So first up, I'll go have a quick. We'll have a quick look at this freezer. Now here's my freezer. I've just turned it on. Two and a half star energy rating. Manufacturer says it uses 310 kilowatt hours per year. That works out at about 850 watt hours per day. Definitely within the realm of possibility for my little two kilowatt array. 176 liters. It's a bit over six cubic feet for the Americans. This is basically a Westinghouse, just a cheaper brand. And all I've got in the moment, just some ice blocks and some water. Next week it should be killing some sheep, so I need a freezer for that. So there's my load, electric kettle, draws about 2200 watts. Currently getting 560 odd watts coming off the panels, that's in absorb mode. It's probably only going to be in absorb mode for about another hour at the most. Right, voltage is 136 volts because I've got two strings of four panels in series. Generated 36 amp hours or 0.9 kilowatt hours so far. So that's replacing what I've used since the panels were shaded out yesterday. There you go, one kilowatt hour just ticked over. Here we go, hit the load. That's the inverter, too much for the inverter. All right, I can't find a resistive, lo resistive load that's gonna be suitable. So I'll go for a safe inductive load, and that's the water pump. So it float about 390, close to 400 watts coming in. So about 680 watts coming in, 730. That's uh, with the two kilowatt array hooked up. I'm going to go out, unhook one string, and see what we do then. So one kilowatt of panels hooked up. 400 watts coming in float mode. Around 640 watts. So the freeze is running. Put the pump on for a bit. That's 710 watts. That's from a 1,040 watt array. I go out, disconnect another panel. Now I've got three panels hooked up. 780 watts of panels. I think 480 watts coming in. See there, voltage from the array is down to 92 volts. Five hundred and ninety watts. That's absolute most I can get out of those three two hundred and sixty watt panels. Seven hundred and eighty watts of panels. Five hundred and ninety watts coming out of the charge controller. 
down to two panels now. 390 watts, 56.8 volts coming in. That reflects the two panels. 393 watts from 520 watts of panels. And I know the pump draws more than 390 watts. It's a beautiful sunny day out there as you saw. Now just got to go back out there and hook all these panels back up again. Well, it is about 3.30 in the afternoon. Quick look there at the sun. Maybe half an hour of sunlight, direct sunlight on the panels left. Let's have a look. All right, they're still in full sun at the moment. Uh, yes, it's at an angle. So I've had the freezer going all day. Here's the miter saw for a few minutes. Ran the pump for a few minutes while I was stuffing around testing panels. Let's get onto the house and have a look and see what the power production is for today. So you can see the charge controller is still in float mode. That's that bottom green LED there. 121 amp hours, 3.2 kilowatt hours. That 3.2 kilowatt hours, that's not what has come out of the batteries. That 121 amp hours, that's not what's come out of the batteries. That's what's gone into the batteries. So the charge controller was in float mode by 11 a.m. And basically, from now it's just maintaining the charge. Let's have a look at the wattage that's coming in now. So you see 360 watts. So fairly good. But the true test will be on a day when I'm not here. Uh, I already know that the house uses about 700 watt hours per day when I'm not here. So with this, the addition of this freezer, all I've got to do then is check the power production on a day that I'm not here. I'll just Fridays are the best. I'll just come get straight back to the shack, come under here, have a look. And that figure then, less than 700 watt hours will be what the fridge uses, roughly. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.